all of his co-workers were gone, what could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first. just to admire it. And here it was, the lounge. What a room, Stanley thought to himself. What a room, what a room, what a room. This is what Stanley thought. What a room, what a room, what a room. What a room, va va voom, what a room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you. Oh, really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing, because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what, let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's not even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look.
Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. You heartless bastard! Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out, I'm out, I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Aha! Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower, perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. Oh, no. No, 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 it can't be. It is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly, block it off. Oh, thank goodness, Stanley, what a close call. You really wandered off into that, that thing, that big open, just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any... Ooh. Oh, thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. Okay, I think this will be just the thing. Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Is it better than my miserable little story that I work so hard on? Stanley, I have a thought. 
And I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls makes for an even more euphoric sports experience. I'm going to try it out. Here comes another ball. Yes! Oh goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I simply have to have more. I'm insatiable. More balls! Are you enjoying this, Stanley? Are you having fun? Is this a real video game? Well, I sure hope you're having a good time, because guess what? It's over. That's right. Your little fun comes to an end. This is my game, and what I say goes. You get to have fun when I let you, Stanley. Besides, you need someone like me to set boundaries for you. Without rules or boundaries, video games are nothing. Yes, that's what I am. I'm structure. I'm your sense of purpose. And since you decided you didn't want to play my game, now I don't want to play with you either. So goodbye, Stanley. I'm leaving. See how you'd like it when I'm not around to set the rules. Somehow, I don't think you'll enjoy it as much, but who knows? You're an inventive kid, you'll come up with something. After all, you're the one who knows best. Take care, Stanley. Hold on, what are you doing? Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. <laughs>